Adobe XD got its first update of the year, so this is the video covering the new changes and features for the program. This is the January 2022 update. There's only three new features for the program this month, so it's going to be a pretty quick video. So let's go ahead and get started with the first new feature, new device artboards. This is going to give us more artboards for Apple and Google devices so that we can instantly size these to that specific device instead of having to do it by hand. A on the keyboard to bring up the artboard tool and you can click on any of these options or you can open your project with any of these artboard sizes. The second feature is multiple time triggers. This is gonna allow us to have more interactive prototypes, allowing multiple triggers such as video and Lottie animations to play simultaneously. So with multiple time triggers, you can see I have a Lottie file and then I also have this video here with a time trigger, and they're both gonna start automatically as soon as I hit live preview. So let's take a look. And you can see that I've got a Lottie animation and a video playing in my prototype at the same time. And the third and final feature is hyperlinks. To add a hyperlink, it's super easy. All you gotta do is select your text and then just go to prototype, and we're gonna add a interaction. So I'm going to add a tap trigger to that. And then for the type, I'm just gonna select hyperlink, and then I can insert my URL. And then when I view my prototype and I select my hyperlink, you can see my mouse cursor changes when I hover over it. It's gonna take you to that website, in this case, my YouTube channel. And that's it. That's the three new features and changes to the program for January, 2022. I'll have more Adobe XD content coming to you guys very soon. Make sure you check out these videos if you're interested in Adobe XD and web design related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.